In this video, I'm going to tell you guys how do you know you have a bad window motor or regulator or a bad window switch. If you're watching this video, there's a very high chance that your window is not working. You're probably wondering, what should you replace? Either replace the window motor or replace the uh, switch. Before removing the door panel to check if the window motor and regulator is good or not, you should always check the switch first. For example, when checking the switch, make sure this lock actually works. So as you can see here, it is working. Also, when activating the lock, you also want to make sure that the inside are working as well. The next thing you want to do, you want to test all the switches. Make sure all the windows are actually working. As you can see here, this window is not working. That window is working. That window is also working. After checking all the windows, only this window is not working. So that means the switch is functioning properly. And I'm going to say that the window motor and regulator is faulty and it's time to replace it. To replace the window motor and regulator, the door panel needs to be removed. So you're going to need a few tools. The first tool you're going to need is the door panel trim remover. So it's going to come in a set like this. Next, you need a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead. And next, you'll need a ratchet and a basic socket set. To remove the door panel, this procedure is gonna be similar for most vehicles. The first thing you wanna do is remove this plastic piece. Once you have that plastic piece off, if you look on the inside, you're gonna see a screw right there. And you look at this door handle, you see this plastic piece right here? Remove that plastic piece. There's going to be another screw right there. And what you want to do is just look all around. Look on the bottom. If you don't see any screw, most likely there's going to be a clip behind it. Let's remove all the screws and clips that's holding the door panel together so we can check the window motor and regulator. So I finally got the switch out and I got all the screws out. There's one screw here, one screw here, one screw here, and there's another screw here. And also I loosened up the uh, door panel using one of this trim tool by going behind here and just working my way around it. And now the door panel is loose and ready to be removed. So this part here, you want to be gentle and you want to pull it back out like this and lift it up like this, slowly. And now the door panel is pretty much out of the way. So the window motor is a basic DC motor and all you need to do is to supply 12 volts to test the motor for the window motor and regulator. So here's a basic setup. I used the wire pierce and I pierced the, um, the window motor uh, wires and I also have a, a jumper cable over right here and I have a 12 volt power source. So I'm going to connect the alligator clip onto this power source here. Let's connect the other one and then I'm going to activate it to see if the window motor works or not. When turning on the power, the window should either roll up or roll down. As you can see there, there is no response. So I know the motor for the window motor regulator is faulty. When testing the window motor, make sure you have your setup properly because this can give you a false test. So you want to make sure all connection is tight. Over there. Over here. And over here. 
If connection is secure, then your test is most likely 100% accurate. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.